One of the really great things about this site is that it's, um, it's at the northern edge of the, the 28 metre height zone in the, um, the blueprint of the Christchurch City Council um, planning regulations. So what that means is that, that all of the properties to the north of Kilmore Street are restricted to the 17 metre height plane, which is five floors. Uh, and this site has the advantage of having being able to build four floors above that datum effectively. So what it means for the development is guaranteed views to the north and um, as well as sort of northeast and northwest um, over the top of that, that development envelope uh, out across the Canterbury Plains, you know, guaranteed for forever. So the brief for the project was for a uh, 96 room hotel. Um, which we've, which is the white solid base to the, to the architecture of the project. Um, so we see that as a, as a robust base to the building that anchors the project into the ground and relates to the 17 metre height restriction of, of the surrounding area. And in that way it, it reinforces the street wall and the potential future architecture of the infill that, we'll, that we see occurring over, over the next generation. The upper floors for the apartment to the apartment floors to, to create a kind of a language of its own and a distinction from the, from the hotel floors, we've, we've kind of flipped the diagram to create a, a different kind of architecture for the upper four floors for the apartments which is a more transparent architecture with, um, which is black as opposed to the white base. And it allowed the, the, the apartments above to hover above that and to respond to the, to the fact that we have this opportunity for 360 degree views from, from this high. The views in all directions are extraordinary. That, you know, from that height, you can see you know, right across Christchurch to the sea, to the east, um, the distant views to the north, uh, to the Kaikoras, is beautiful. And then to the west, there's this extraordinary outlook over Cramner Square and across um, the you know, western side of, of the city, across Hagley Park, uh, and then the Southern Alps in the, in the background. It's, it's a really extraordinary opportunity. But we've worked with a, with a range of different apartment types. The northern end of the building has four large uh, penthouse apartments that run all the way from across the Kilmore Street elevation from east to west so that they have a large master bedroom suite which um, looks eastward uh, down Kilmore Street and a large open plan living space looking directly north and west with two opportunities for outdoor living space. There's the the north east facing uh, terrace and then a larger west facing terrace that uh, extends the building and gives it direction and, and that sense of outward looking over the, the context. So behind the penthouse apartments are a series of one bedroom and dual key two bedroom apartments. The dual key two bedroom apartments offer a a unique opportunity for investors and owner occupiers to be able to realise some income by, uh, by renting the studio unit. So the dual key arrangement is a, um, it's a, effectively a one bedroom apartment and a studio apartment that share the same entrance lobby. So there's literally two keys for the apartment. So it can, can function as a normal two bedroom apartment for an owner occupier. Uh, and equally can be rented out as a, as a one bed in a studio or any of those combinations. The eastern facing dual key apartments enjoy wonderful views over Victoria Square and the foreground, the town hall which is due to reopen shortly and to the southeast the, the whole precinct through the Avon River project to the convention centre. The apartments to the west have this really lovely long telescopic view over Hagley Park to the Southern Alps. 
Even the, the view, one of the most underrated views in Christchurch is to the south of the Port Hills and it's, uh, it's just exquisite from all of these, from this height, the, the views in all directions are fantastic. The planning of the apartments, the internal planning of the apartments has been carefully considered to, to maximise the sense of outlook from each of these apartments, whether it be the, the northwest views from the penthouses or the dual key apartments down the sides, that uh, there's always this kind of sense of, of enjoying this telescopic long view. So Christchurch's context is this sort of traditional three to four storey uh, level or datum that the city's built at. So to be up at level six to eight means that, that you get this, this really extraordinary outlook. So there's two levels of car parking on site uh, at the rear of the building. Um, the other common facilities are there's a, um, a public use cafe on the ground floor that will be connected to the entrance foyer, the shared entrance foyer for the hotel and the apartments. Um, so, you know, that's going to be great convenience for people living in the apartment. Um, we've had a really long, successful relationship with, with Mike Sullivan and the uh, Clearwater Construction team and Countrywide Property Group uh, on a number of projects in Christchurch and Auckland. Uh, one of the things we really enjoy ab about working with the team is that they do what they say they're going to do and they do it quickly and efficiently. It's, it's a really enjoyable process.